हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बी सिंह फाउंडर एंड डायरेक्टर मेड इजी ग्रुप गेट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन रिजल्ट इज डिक्लेयर्ड एंड नाउ यू आर वाचिंग टॉपर्स टॉक फॉर गेट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन टॉपर्स एंड गेट इज द गेट वे फॉर द फ्यूचर मोस्ट ऑफ द इंजीनियर्स दे ड्रीम अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर जॉब वेदर पब्लिक सेक्टर्स और द अलाइड सर्विसेज पी एस यूज इज टेकिंग नाउ फ्रॉम द गेट स्कोर कार्ड so gate definitely becomes important in civil engineering nearly 1.2 lakh students appear and securing all india rank 3 out of 1.2 lakh is remarkable so today in topper's talk with me is mr idris and idris welcome Thank so his he is idris mustafa manikwala he has secured all india rank 3 and his score is 978 out of 1000 and his normalized marks are 83.82 he belong to nit nagpur he has completed his btech from nit nagpur in 2016 then joined the classroom course of medi ji and he is native of the indore so he belongs to madhya pradesh uh, idris first of all i would like to know gate and ies why you made gate as your target not the ies uh sir actually uh, what i thought that in the college itself i was very good in academics hmm. so i i was very much interested in technical side okay yeah, so, so interest is towards the technical and uh, then you want to go in psus uh, that's true but uh, actually from the preparation point of view i thought that uh, gate is purely technical right. but ese is non technical also right. so i was more inclined towards okay gate. okay so I, using your technical knowledge and the exploring that same area yes sir right so you are already working now in one of the psu and now you want to go in some better psu so psu yes, to psu this was the main motive of writing gate or mtech was the motive uh, psu was the main motive sir right uh, yes sir and uh, currently the psu which i am working in is uh, 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 is a mini ratna psu right. so i am uh, looking for a higher uh, psu like uh, ongc and nhai right so that's why for better prospects i went there because they have more uh, better career prospects mm -hmm. yes sir right so uh, when you started your preparation gate yes, and sir. ies both questions you solved or oh, you focused to only gate questions uh, sir actually i started with first gate questions hmm. but then i observed that some ies questions were being repeated were being asked hmm. so in few not frequently but some they sometimes they used to ask so hmm. i thought that why not solve ies papers also right so i have been solving what closeness you have seen in gate and ies questions and Clo closeness i have seen that uh concepts are same concepts are same obviously hmm. and apart from that there are some questions which are very sp uh, specific questions in gate we cannot expect that hmm. so in ies uh, those questions are expected because ies is more kind of theoretical hmm. so uh, that's why if we solve ies previous year papers hmm. then uh, we get a extra edge hmm. if same questions are repeated in gate hmm. then we will uh, get marks in that otherwise if we focus only on gate preparation it is more towards objective numerical kind of thing so right. yeah so uh, people who are just focusing on gate they might lose that kind of uh, theoretical aspects of the topic right. so uh, the es is uh, basically provides that edge which i think which i personally felt also right. during my preparation when when we see the syllabus of civil engineering it is very wide yes sir and entire syllabus covering in a limited time becomes a tough task so right, for sir. last moment of the revision yes sir did you made any kind of the short notes uh, yes sir i have al always been making a short notes mm. uh, i used to refer uh, made easy notes mm. uh, they they are itself very precise mm. but for me uh, since i was working so mm. i had to make more precise notes so right. what i did that i had made some small small placards kind of right. uh, papers and then i had stuck on the on wall, wall of my room <laughs> and my mother used to go crazy because of that but still that helped me uh, because of the very time uh, of the time constraint i used i could re revise a lot right so that's why that's the the thing which i uh, so apart from made uh, notes uh, did you follow any other thing uh, which was required required or it was uh, any textbook textbooks i uh, textbooks i Uh, didn't refer much because in my college itself I uh, was only reading. Yeah, kind. I was uh, very particular about reading textbooks because mm. uh, uh, I my professors used to very much be strict about that. You have to read. And main is the application part. Once your concepts yes. are clear, then you have to solve mainly questions. Yes, sir. So how many previous year questions papers you solved? Sir, I have solved from nineteen ninety one to two 
मैथमेटिक्स and uh, aptitude the reasoning aptitude they reasoning are very aptitude. scoring and these important are, these are very scoring and i found them very useful in uh, yes. securing this rank i got almost uh, 100% marks in bo- those both those sections, sections. So the, these two are important these are like the starter when mm. you do your uh, meal of your preparation then mm. you have, these are starters so you have to start with them mm. oh, even if half an hour you give that is sufficient right apart from that there are some uh, major topics like geotechnical structures these are um, question these are very um uh, uh, means uh, uh, heavy weightage subjects right so some students don't like these subjects mm. but the strategy is that subjects that you don't like you have to make them your favorites so that you don't lag in lag on those subjects right right yeah so so uh, subjects you have to prepare all and there is no way to ignore any area you have no. to go for the holistic and yeah. when you want a good rank you have to prepare the entire class yeah. and that is what in the medic classes the entire syllabus is being taught and uh, uh, do you have any plan of writing civil services yes i have uh, actually i wanted to do one thing at one time so i till now focused on gate, gate. now yeah. you are going for civils yeah now it's like it's said like done so and dusted so you go step yeah. by step yeah so you now you got one achievement yes. now the next one yeah that gives me confidence, confidence. also that so you have now one good job and then yeah. you can go yeah and uh, a good rank also that means that i have the potential to score if well if you have already proved so it gives you confidence, confidence also confidence also right yes, so indore which is one of the most clean cities of india yes, now, three times in a row three times three times right so congratulations and thank for you, your three times and you are now third ranker <laughs> <laughs> so thank it's you it's a confident connection <laughs> and best wishes for your civil services thank and congratulations you,